Always looks like I have a fucking boner in these jeans, man. What is up, you guys? And welcome, 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 welcome back to another video. We are currently in, well, in my in my kitchen. That is because we are cooking up, we are cooking up some great content. Today we are taking a look at my whole jewelry collection. Jewelry, jewelry, pieces of worthless metal, pretty much. The shit I wear, and that's it, really. So if you like silver, then you'll like this video. If you like gold, then you can just kind of just go away. Go away, mate. That is kind of the common ground for all my jewelry, that it's all silver or steel or that silver color. The reason why is that I've got fairly pale skin. It's not like super pale, but I feel like silver is a bit nicer on lighter skin, where you've got more dark or olive skin. I think gold is really well. But in my case, I'm gonna stick to the the silver. It's also cheaper. I don't really feel like I can justify the cost of gold because end of the day, it's just fucking metal. So let's get into the jewelry, the jewelry collection. The first one is a kudu skull, kudu ring. It's fairly big, but the more you wear it, the more you get used to it. I just think it's really, really cool. Made of 95 sterling silver. This for 185 quid, I believe. Really good. Next one, also from the Great Frog. Soaring Eagle Ring. This one is 155 quid. I think this is the ring they sell most of, just because it looks really good on guys and girls. Next up, we've got two rings. First up is a signet ring. This one is from Harry Hunt. I've worn this for probably two years as well. I wear this every single day. Next one is the year ring from Fernando and Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now moving on, we've got three brand new rings. I literally picked up yesterday. See, maybe this is cool. This is a cool way to show them off. No, it's not a cool way to show them off. Okay, fine. First one is a horseshoe. Very simple horseshoe. Again, sterling silver. This one kind of makes my fingers a bit green, which is annoying. I paid 40 pounds for this. So it's a good cheap silver ring and I just think it looks really, really cool. We've got two onyx rings. I kind of want to start wearing a bit more stones. I feel like wearing a black stone to match my watch and to match my belt is kind of tying in all the small details, which just have a nice red thread, which is black so it's got a black fret throughout the outfit it's very very different going from all silver to suddenly wearing stones on your fingers but i think it looks really really clean to be honest so one on each hand did i stutter i wouldn't go two stones in one hand this one was 45 quid and i think this one was 35 pretty cheap now these three rings were bought in a shop called so high soho in london small individual store where they sell stuff like jewelry necklaces incense all like all that good shit. Moving on to the next three rings. These three rings are all in steel. They were given to me. I've worn these two a lot, but I don't really like them that much anymore. This one is a bit meh, in my opinion. This one's okay, and this one's too big, to be honest. My problem with these is they're just too shiny. You can see that they're not silver. If you have a ring like this one, which is silver, it has a very, very different kind of look to it and color. So I don't really like that they are so shiny, if that makes sense. They are from a place called Wanted Store. Wantedstore.eu, I believe. Very very cheap good kind of entry ring i'd say a good way to buy unique looking rings but without having to pay a fuck ton of money for them essentially that's basically all my rings i probably wear five rings every day five or six rings so i always wear <clears throat> i can't even put them on yet i wear three of these and then i'll go something like this maybe bling up boy so moving on next, we've got watches. Now I kind of went through periods where I would wear a watch and then I wouldn't wear a watch and I'd wear a watch and I wouldn't wear a watch when I was younger. Now I pretty much wear a watch every single day, but I'm just gonna go through the three watches I've got. This one is the first watch I ever got, uh, probably seven years ago for Christmas, an Ivisu watch. So back then I just fucking loved Ivisu and I thought it was super cool. And I was like, yeah, it'd be freaking sick to have a, uh, an Ivisu watch. Looking back on it now, I'm just a bit like, why the fuck did I want an Ivisu watch? I never really wear it, but it was kind of the first watch, so I always keep it. It's very, very casual. It looks fine, but I've always got that thing in mind where it's like, mm, it's Ibisu. The next watch is a watch I got from my aunt. And I got this piece in Denmark. You've got a thing called confirmation or confirmation where you basically confirm your religion, your Christian religion. I'm not really religious, so I just did it because you got free presents and it's like tradition. But my aunt gave this to me. I literally wore this for probably two years straight. Now I don't wear it as much, a bit too bulky. I do believe it is 42 millimeters, just a tad too big for my liking. And the next watch, which is the watch I wear every single 
single day is a Rolex Submariner 16610, I think it's called. That's a lie. That's wrong. Don't listen to me. It's a Rolex Submariner note date. So you can get Submariners which have a date on it or you can have a note date. I felt the note date was a bit more clean and more low key. Now I haven't really talked about this watch at all on this channel I think. It's mainly because I feel like going like, oh, I bought a Rolex, I bought a Rolex. Ooh. It's very much showing off, which is not really what I'm about. So I just keep it very low key. Another reason why I bought this is because I turned 20, dropped out of university. I went full-time YouTube, content creation, clothes, whatever you want to call it. So for me, it's kind of a milestone. For me, watches is something you buy to mark a special time. So I'll probably get a new one when I turn 21 because it's a big birthday. Maybe I'll get a new watch if I get married, if I... I don't know, some big things you want to remember in your life. That's why I got this watch, at least. It's a very, very recognizable watch. I love the black tones on it. It's not over the top, it's still low key, but it's still a very, very beautiful watch, in my opinion. So yeah, I don't talk about it a lot. I do really, really love it, and I probably wear it every single day, but I don't really see the point in talking about it. Like, I bought it for me to remember something. I didn't buy it to show people that, uh, uh, I've got a watch. Roll away. Really way. So the last pieces are just different accessories, different stuff I'd wear every day. Starting off, we've got a belt chain. I don't know why. I just I literally wear a belt chain every single day. I've only got one. If I change into another pair of trousers or jeans, just clip it, clip it right up here. And then it's just like a tiny, tiny little extra detail. You can literally find belt chains anywhere on Amazon. They're like two, three quid. You can make your own ones. It's just like an extra small accessory. Next to that, we've got a necklace, which I literally bought yesterday. I rarely buy necklaces because I always tend to lose them. Like I'll break the chain or lose the pendant. And I believe I paid something like 45 pounds all in for this. Sterling silver chain with a Celtic cross. I'm not even remotely Christian. I don't know why I bought a cross. I was just like, yep, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna get that. Sick. Cultural appropriation. Fire. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it a lot. For me, chains are something you have to get used to wearing. I'm not sure if I like how it looks on me just yet, but maybe I'll get used to it. Up until yesterday, I would wear this every single day. Now this is very, very simply a... A, it's very very simply just an earring so it will sit up here however I changed it yesterday this is just a standard when you get when you have your ears pierced I think it suits me really well but I thought I'd spice it up a bit so I bought some new earrings they remind me a lot about chrome hearts I definitely have to get used to them they're literally dangling more than my balls which it's gonna be weird. It's very, very weird seeing myself with it because it's been something else for so long. Maybe I'll grow into it and like it. Uh, what does the cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. I literally paid 16 pounds for two earrings. So I thought, bargain mate, bargain. Yeah, bro, it's me, Lil Mag, Lil, Lil Pump. Little pump. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally all the jewelry, all the bling and swagger I own. Now with jewelry, the second you put it on, it always looks a bit weird because you're very used to seeing your hands in a different way with different rings on it. But the second I put a ring on, I don't really like the ring, but I kind of grow into liking it in a sense. So the more I see it on, the more I'm like, okay, sick. This is my style now. That's why for me, it's very hard to get new rings because I don't necessarily like switching on rings, but I did it, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know some of you guys wanted to see this, have requested it a bit. So I hope you're, um, hope you're happy now. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace. And no, I don't have the scepter piercing anymore. I took off my nose ring. So you guys saying, ooh, nice scepter, Magnus. You can go fuck yourself.